know, so I saw a tweet of yours recently where you talked about, you know, Mother Android containing a very personal story from you in there. And, you know, I think it shows that ending. Uh, I'm not ashamed to admit I teared up a little bit, you know, um, yeah, thank you for always please, performing yeah. your writing. You know, uh, I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about how, you know, Mother Android came to be from this personal aspect to this, you know, thrilling sci-fi adventure. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Um, uh, you know, graduated from film school and you try to make your movies and it's hard to get a movie made. So over the course of many, many years, I developed many projects and then eventually I focused on the most personal thing I could. And, and that was my own adoption story. Um, so the movie is a very loose retelling that that really just takes the five or six things that I, I know to be true uh, and then puts them in a genre that I really love. Um, and so, so for me, it was always, can I do these two things at once of a really personal love letter to my biological parents and also entertain you with, you know, the tropes of the robot apocalypse. Um, that's where the movie came from. Awesome. And yeah, and you know, like you said, you've taken on double duty here, writing and directing. Um, and so with this being your first feature doing both, I was wondering, like, what was what was the biggest challenge you found getting Mother Android from page to screen? COVID. Yeah. Just shooting, shooting, you know, we shot the movie in September 2020. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I think we were the first movie to shoot in Massachusetts after the shutdown. Um, Don't Look Up started a day or two after we finished. And, uh, it, you know, it was just intense. Nobody had done it before. And, you know, it, it was a very stressful, scary situation of, you know, masks and face shields all the time. And uh, pre-vaccination, the election is going on at the same time. So there's just a lot of stressors in a situation that's already pretty stressful, but um, fortunately we got we got through it without a hit and um, uh, persevered, I guess. But no, that that was intense. Yeah, and um, you know, I mean, I think it translates to the film. It's a very very intense film, and you know, you did another really great sci fi film, Little Fish, but. I think Mother Android's a little bit more action heavy than this one. So I was wondering, like, as a director, how are you approaching these action, action sequences while at the same time, you know, finding the time to focus on Sam and Georgia as characters? You know, I, I think that um, any given action sequence for me, it was all about point of view. And it was all about making sure that I never got into territory where I had emotionally left the characters. And so staying with Chloe, staying with Algie, where they are, that, that was, that made where the camera goes very specific. And then, you know, there's, there's a, a, a fun, it's in the trailer a bit, fun motorcycle chase in the middle of the movie and being a first time filmmaker, looking at that going, okay, I'm not going to be able to do this better than Tom Cruise does it in a mission impossible movie. There's just no comparison, but I am scrolling through Instagram and I come across this, this drone race guy named Paul Nurkala, who is uh, just kind of a, a savant when it comes to flying these things. And I go, drones can be a character and we have the bike. And so that's a new kind of point of view. So I can shoot this in a way that maybe people will go, haven't quite seen it like that before. Um, and so each kind of set piece involved in the movie was taking some little piece and going, what can I bring to this that I haven't quite seen in the same way to just give it my own personal flair? Hopefully I was successful. Yeah, I mean, I, I surely think you were, you know, I mean, there's also those horror elements to it that I really enjoyed. I was I was joking around uh, with my roommate and I was telling him I just watched John Carpenter's Terminator. And oh. <laughs> so I was wondering like, what movies were you thinking of like while making Mother Android, if any at all? Yeah, I mean, you certainly can't get away from Terminator, that's that's a big one, the original one for me. Um, Children of Men is another huge, huge one of, of just kind of wasteland and also a pregnancy movie. It's not, it's not often that you see a, a pregnant woman at the center of a movie like this where there's a lot of action. Um, and then, you know, Matt Reeves is my producer on this movie and, and I, I just love those apes movies. And, and for me, those, 
those really are an example of what I would like to try to do in my career of, you know, big canvas, big world, big blockbuster movies, and yet so goddamn personal and emotional that, you know, that's the thing you're leaning into. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I really love the movie. Congratulations again. I can't wait for everybody else to see it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. 